Steven Spielberg's ego massaging autobiographic movie The Fablemans is canned in early reviews. Critics say it's an exhausting dud that does not touch the heart or the mind. Legendary filmmaker Steven Spielberg's memoir film The Fablemans received mixed reviews after its debut, with many top critics agreeing it was ego massaging and it did not touch the heart or the mind. Nearly two weeks after Spielberg's new film dropped in theaters on November 11, some critics seem to be torn on whether or not the film, which is largely based on director's life story, is perfectly dreamy or two and a half hours too long. Many negative reviews have hammered down on the storyline being a giant ego massage for Spielberg and only intermittently interesting, while more positive reviews call it a movie about dreams and complimented the final scene that's so good, it's reason enough to see a movie that true to its title lends a gentle fairy tale sheen to even the most painful memories of the filmmaker's youth. The movie drew Oscar buzz as an early front-runner as it filtered through film festivals but since its nationwide release, the road to the nomination isn't so yellow-bricked. The 151-minute film has so far received wide critical praise, bringing in 92% on Rotten Tomatoes and 84% on Metacritic, which aggregates reviews. Subscribe to our channel for the latest on your favorite celebrities. Like, comment and share and don't forget to press the bell icon for notifications.